Ladies and gentlemen, Raven would like to apologize on behalf of all his viewers for interrupting this broadcast, but we have some breaking Doctor Who news. Let's get into this. Welcome to a very, very excited and hotly anticipated Doctor Who action figure news video. So it has just been officially announced that we have got some more B&M Doctor Who sets to be hunting down very, very soon. Now the first set we have to talk about here is of course the Five Doctors set, including the third Doctor in his lovely brown cape there. We have a Raston Warrior robot for the very first time. and maybe the very last time, who does appear to be doing the old um, live long and prosper sign with one of his hands, but fair enough. I don't think anyone's going to live long or prosper if they meet this Raston Warrior robot anytime soon, because he is a pretty brutal character. Just ask any Cybermen. And talking of Cybermen, the Cyber Leader. Yes, that's right. For the very first time ever, we've got a classic Earthshock style Cyberman Cyber Leader. Now, you can tell this by the fact that his handlebars are painted with some black and silver. Now, personally, I'm a little bit, I wouldn't say disappointed, that's a very strong word to use, but I was very much looking forward to army building the classic Cybermen from this story, and I can only say that I guess I still will, but we're going to have to customise and paint these Cybermen to make them you know, just normal scout. Of course, painting the handlebars completely silver. It is good to see that the Cyber Leader, of course, comes with his gun as well. I love an accessory, so that does look really, really good. Now, if we move on to the next hotly anticipated Doctor Who set, which just is absolutely incredible and has blown my mind, and hopefully it will blow yours too, we have the first Doctor and TARDIS set from an unearthly child. I mean brilliant it looks absolutely incredible i will say that in this image the saint john's logo does seem to be half missing which is a bit strange anyone else spot any other differences that are missing i don't know but we've got the first doctor there in brown checkered trousers we've got a lovely cape with his hat and his scarf which is actually one of my favorite designs for the first doctor of course you can see that his trousers are very different to the trousers that were originally released within the first doctor and tardis set a long long time ago and of course this tardis will not be electronic but i don't think that matters at this point the fact that we've got another first doctor tardis variant is absolutely amazing it looks incredible so we'll definitely be tracking this one down and then if we move on to another free pack we have the Earth Shock set. Now this set is the set that I would almost have guaranteed had a Cyberman in it, but it doesn't. In fact, it has two androids, which are basically rest on warrior robots, but in black. Um, I mean, it's a fair choice, I suppose. It's a brand new figure, to be fair, and it does look like that the hands on the figures are different, so there is that. Of course, the Fifth Doctor is looking amazing with some very dirty shoes there and notice the accessory that comes with this set it's the bomb thing the device that tries blowing up in that little cave they're in so like i say no cybermen included within this set which i think is gonna potentially bum a lot of people out i mean it's kind of made me feel a little bit ah oh, okay like I said before, the only way of army building classic Earthshock style Cybermen is going to be buying that Cyber Leader and, and painting it. And I'm not really much of a customizer and I quite like my figures to be, you know, as they are supposed to be. I'm just not very good at painting. But nonetheless, that is the Earthshock set. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. And then moving on to the Daleks. Of course, we have History of a Dalek set six, the evil of the Daleks. It was a very obvious choice. We knew it was going to happen. So let's talk about it. We have the drone Dalek, of course. And we also have the guard Dalek with the black dome. It looks like both Daleks have yellow lights, which is fair enough. Again, an obvious choice, really. The background looks amazing. They're kind of, uh, you know, adding to the fact that we never ever got the release of the uh, Dalek Supreme or the Dalek Emperor, should I say. But we've got a cardboard cutout, nonetheless. But yeah, I mean, I'm happy with this. Definitely an army building set. Of course, you can just build army armies of evil of the Daleks now quite happily. Now, moving on to the last set in this video, and that is... 
History of the Daleks, set 8, Planet of the Daleks. I've got to say, a little bit disappointed with this set in particular because there is no Supreme Dalek with it. Now, they included the, obviously, the uh, Dalek from the Invasion of Earth in History of the Daleks set 2. And there was no kind of change in box size, so they could have had that in there. I guess, maybe, because these are technically re-releases, or at least that ilk, that uh, they didn't want to maybe produce um, a Dalek, like the Supreme Dalek again, because it might cost too much money. I'm not 100% sure if these Daleks are going to be exactly the same as the Daleks we've just got from Day of the Daleks. They do look very similar, I've got to say, and I've already army built those, so it might be that I just buy one or two of these sets and that's it. But having said that, it's very difficult to track down any Daleks in B&M at the moment, so maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is this a missed opportunity? Could they have had the Invisible Dalek in there as well, perhaps? You know, the one that's been sprayed or partly sprayed by the Third Doctor? I don't know. I'm a little bit on the fence, I've got to say. But we have got to remember that we are very lucky to have any of these Doctor Who sets at all in this day and age. So the fact that we are still getting so many Doctor Who sets on a yearly basis... I'm happy. It's it, it's good. It's good. So, yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you think. And thank you very much for watching this Doctor Who video. I will see you all again for another one very, very soon. Take care and goodbye for now. Thank you to everyone for watching another one of my Doctor Who videos. I fucking love you all. I do want to say a massive thank you to my VIP patrons of Mark Thomas, Chris TJ, Sammy the Dalek and Ben Taylor. And also, thank you so much to all of my other Patreons, Cybershade1, Boston Stew, Ryan Costa, Dalek Boss, Jeffrey16, James Griffin, Andrew23, Third Doctor John, Tiny Tower Kid, Flawless Reactor, Time Kid88, Cyber Daleks, Gary Humbert, Simon Taylor, Penny and Amber, Samson Cole, and Bev Richards. Thank you all so much for your contributions. You guys are helping keep this channel alive.